Kelly Oubre. I mean, first I think name she's out. not the first one to bring and it up. She's not wrong, and you know, triple eight nine five seven nine five seventy <laughs> Kelly Oubre. Come on, he he looks like he would be an incredible player, and you see him at times, and you go, "This guy's incredible." And then you watch wow. the totality of his play; he just doesn't fit with the Warriors. Mark, if I had a dollar for every time he would just either drift to the corner or cut to the very spot where Steph. Steph's working off three picks on the weak side, and he's on his bicycle, and he's running around the baseline, and he looks up, and Kelly Oubre Jr. is just standing right where he's going. Well, I mean, let, let's remember, the Kelly Oubre experience was defined by a player who thought more of himself than the organization did, which is the exact opposite mm. of what they're trying to go out there and do right That's now. That's true. That's a good seemingly. point, yeah. Kelly Oubre was, I, I'm a starter. I'm a starter. Well, my God, you sir, unless Kelly has changed in some major way, how on earth would that fit in to everything that the Warriors have done? Come on out here on a minimum contract and watch a lot of games and we'll use you sometimes? That does not sound like something Kelly would want to do. Now, she's right. These players are available because they don't have a lot of options. So maybe it would work. I just know that if you were to do something like that, the problem with it is this, because I agree with you. I was excited about it the first time. It makes all kinds of sense on paper. Right. But if you did it again, oh, God. And it didn't work again, that's embarrassing. Well, it can't work again. It's embarrassing. It It shan't work again. Why not? Because he's not the right player. And look at what he did in Charlotte last year. Yeah, 20 a game. And that's a phrase that triggers you. Yeah, because so Jordan Poole. 50 players in the association average 20 a night. Oubre Jr., he averaged 20 a night, Mark. Uh, He played 48 games, 48 of 82. Okay. He played 32 minutes, went healthy, shot 43% from the floor. Not from three. Yeah, what did he shoot from three? 32% Uh, from three. No. Which his numbers were almost identical to his year in Golden State, except he shot the ball four <laughs> times more a game. Ugh. Turnovers? No, he doesn't turn it over a lot because he doesn't pass. He doesn't dribble a ball he or pass. Yeah. pass. Yeah. Yeah. Assists per year, 0. 0.2, 0. 0.6, 1.2, 1.2, 0. 0.7, 1.4, 1.3, 1.4. The more you talk, the more I hate this idea. No, and I, that's why. I hate this idea. I wish every Ramona was in the room because when she mentioned it, I made a face. And you saw me well, make I a was face. Like, I, I mean, I've seen this batted around a little bit on Twitter the last couple of days, and I sort of have like taken it with a grain of salt, like as if people were saying it tongue in cheek. I'm like, well, I had you know, Kelly Oubre. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then here comes Ramona, uh, Kelly Oubre. And I'm like, wait, hold on a second. It, wait, really? So then I gave it three minutes. And now I hate it even more. Right. Yeah. What's up, Grant? Do you guys remember how the 2020-2021 regular season ended, which is when Ubre was a warrior? They're fighting for a play-in spot. Ubre mm-hmm. eventually gets hurt, misses the final 10 games of the regular season. Warriors immediately go 8-2 and two and sneak into the play That's play-in. right. Correct. That's right. Didn't Kelly shoot like 38 threes before one went in? Would have joined the Warriors. Do you remember that thing? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but only a little bit. Wasn't it like when you looked at us, Randy? Stat. Yeah. I'm How many right threes now. did he shoot before one went in when he joined the Warriors? Ah, uh, the correct answer: he was one for his first twenty-one. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> he went zero oh for six God. in a loss to Brooklyn. They lose to Brooklyn by twenty-six. Oh, he's zero for six. They lose to Milwaukee by thirty-nine. He's one for ten from the floor. Zero of five from three. Jeez. They beat Chicago by one in a gritty effort. Oh, that's good. Uh, and he was 0 for 6 from 3. <laughs> then he goes okay, 1 so for 4. Wait a minute, he's 0 for 17 at that Correct. point, right? All right. And he then goes what? 1 for 4 in a gutsy win at Detroit. Okay. Then 0 for 4 uh, in the homecoming, in his home opener against Portland. They lose by 25. So through five games, he was 7, 1 for 25. Good God. <laughs> And he got hot. That's one of those, like, Aaron Rodgers in the draft room moments. Like, you're just watching TV going, this whole thing makes me feel uncomfortable. (laughs) I don't like this anymore. Like, I wanted him to, I wanted the shot to go in just for him. Like, I don't even care about the score of the game. I'm like, brother, you're embarrassing yourself, and we're uncomfortable. This is awful. Like, we're going to pay you $85 million. (laughs) You're, You're shooting 
one for 25? There were 15 oh, games that year God. in which he attempted a three and didn't make one. Only one of those games he was 0 for 1. Dude. 15 times he shot threes and didn't make a three. Where did he go from 1 for 25? What happened next? You oh, have in front of you? Yeah, he actually got hot. He went 4 for 6. Hey! Backed it up with an Cash 0 for 6. me out one time! <laughs> Backed it up with, with an 0 for 6 and an 0 for 3. He was uh, 5 for 40 at that point. 5 for 40. Reindeer! Thank Good you. Good God. Gucci! What is that, 12%? Five for 40, 12 and a half. Yeah, yeah, you round up to 13. Damn. He followed it up with a one for six, three for seven, three for eight, two for eight. And then he followed that up with an attitude. That's what I hated about the whole thing. He's like, I'm five for 40 and I should be starting and I don't even want to talk about not starting. He wants to talk about the night at Dallas where he was seven of 10. He put up a, is it a 40 burger to we decide or it's a uh, 50 40, piece no, and a the, 40 burger? Or like no, that 50 backwards? burger, 40, 40 piece. piece. He had a 40 piece and at Dallas. 30 is just something. This is 30 something. 30 is the amount of shots he took. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly Oubre. Oubre. Gosh. Anyway. Yeah, I think I've decided. Back to Bull Bull. I've decided no <laughs> on, on Kelly. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Some of the other names were interesting. I feel like Wood is going to get more money than a minimum. Yeah. But that's a, but boy, that would be fantastic. That's a, that's a great name. Um. Yeah. I listen. I think the Warriors will come up with some interesting names, but yeah, they got to go. Like, the, I like where they're. The, this silence means that you have guys who are going to get the minimum who haven't realized yet that they're going to get the minimum, and that's good because that means you might be getting value guys, right? Like, I don't know, Dario Saric, Wood. Whoever, like these are these are better than minimum contract players in terms of productivity. But if you're out of options and everybody's trying to get below the second apron, yeah, I think there's a good chance for the war. I know right now there's the perception of like, who cares who they get? This is going to be player nine and player eleven on the bench. Maybe, maybe not. Especially with all the load management and injuries that everybody's all getting ready for. Right. This could end up being a very important player or two. Well, they're going to need to play everybody. And this year, I think you're going to look to play everybody. Last year, you had a roster where Steve Kerr had a small handful of guys he didn't feel like he could play. Ryan Rollins and Patrick Baldwin Jr. went healthy. You didn't play them much. James Wiseman played a bunch early. Then you basically shipwrecked him on your bench, and then you traded him. And as you got through the season, your bench got smaller and smaller, and you ran out of guys who you could actually have confidence in playing. So if you go in the vet min market, the thinking is, like Corey Joseph, you know what he's going to be in terms of how good he's going to be. Yeah. If he's your sixth man, you're a lottery team. If he's your tenth man, you're probably a playoff team. Yeah. He, he might be able to play 50 games and play... 12 minutes a night, he might be a guy who gets you 600 minutes. And I, I've done this before, Mark. The NBA season is comprised of about 20,000 total minutes. You've got 48 minutes times 82 games, and there's five on the floor at any one moment. So that's basically the math of it. Jordan Poole last year led your team in minutes played. He played about 9% of your total minutes. So... That, to me, is what you're looking to replace. It's not his points. His points are going to come. Kaminga, Chris Paul, if Moody plays more, right. and I like yeah. what Ramona right. said. They'll be able to score. You're going to find his points. Yeah. Can you find his minutes? Because Steph missed a third of the games, and Clay was really healthy knock on wood. Draymond needs ice every time he comes off the yeah. floor. Lo Looney played all 82, and you hope yeah. he, can keep, he can keep that up. You but need 75 games from Andrew Wiggins. You do, that yeah. Would, that that, no, that that's, that's a point. goal. That's a goal because that's obviously you know you think about down the stretch. There were two months there. The Warriors were missing his what eighteen points a game, um, and and so inject that back in. You're right.